Hi, hello everyone. I'm Toshi from Japan and travel guide for foreigners. In this video, I'll show you top 8 things to do in Okinawa. As mentioned in my previous video, in October 2023, Japan welcomed 2.51 million foreign visitors, surpassing pre-pandemic levels, resulting in issues of over-tourism in certain regions. This surge mainly stems from tourists concentrating on the popular Golden Road destinations Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto, and Hiroshima. In response, the government has announced a significant initiative to redirect travelers to other areas. This initiative focuses on 11 model regions, selected based on their potential to offer diverse experiences in nature, history, and culture from among 62 areas. In this video, I'll highlight Okinawa. Often referred to as the Hawaii of the East, known for its pristine beaches and numerous resort destinations. Where is Okinawa? Okinawa, located at Japan's southernmost tip, comprises over 150 islands centered around the main island, housing a population of approximately 1.5 million. What is Okinawa? Its climate is warm and mild, rarely dropping below 10 degrees Celsius, even in winter with over 100 days annually surpassing 30 degrees Celsius, truly embodying the tropical setting. Renowned for its crystal clear waters and unique natural environment, Okinawa boasts high transparency in its beautiful seas. Registered as a UNESCO World Natural Heritage Site. Following World War II, it was placed under American governance, fostering a distinct culture and cuisine separate from the mainland. This unique blend offers a taste of the exotic, and is a popular honeymoon destination. Actually my parents chose Okinawa for their honeymoon too. Presently, it stands as a sought-after destination for both domestic and international tourists. So making it a must visit spot for everyone. Considering the many comments from my viewers expressing interest in exploring Japan's regional areas, I hope this serves as a valuable reference for your travel plans in Japan's countryside. So, let's get started. Number one is beautiful beach. As I mentioned at the beginning, Okinawa is often referred to as the Hawaii of the East, renowned for its beautiful beaches and numerous resorts. In this video, I'll introduce to beaches near the central city of Naha in Okinawa. Firstly, Nami no Yu Beach. This beach is easily accessible on foot from the city center, and I personally walk there. It's a popular spot among locals, offering opportunities for leisure activities like bee beach. Even in December, when I visited, the weather was pleasant, and some people were sunbathing in their swimsuits. Secondly, Sanaga Island Beach. Located on a small island near the airport, Sanaga Island is entirely surrounded by the sea. The area has recently seen the development of Sanaga Island Yumakaji Terrace a shopping mall that has become a new hotspot for both tourism and shopping in Okinawa. The ambience here resembles that of Greece's Santorini. Furthermore, due to its proximity to the airport, visitors can enjoy watching planes taking off and landing while having fun at the beach. It's a unique experience that combines beach relaxation with the excitement of witnessing aircraft. Movements. These beaches offer fantastic escapes, each with its unique vibe, amenities, and scenic beauty, making the must visit spots for anyone traveling to Okinawa for the first time. Number two is Remote Island. As mentioned at the beginning, while Naha, the capital of Okinawa, boasts beautiful beaches, those seeking even more pristine shores should consider venturing to the nearby remote islands. These islands offer serene, stunning beaches without the hustle and bustle of Naha. Among these, you're an island, reachable in a 40-minute flight or a 5-hour ferry ride, is a gem worth exploring. It's a small island with a population of about 5,000, surrounded by coral reefs in the tropical seas. Here, you'll witness sea turtles, colorful tropical fish playing around, and vibrant flowers like hibiscus and bougainvillea scattered across the island. Enjoy various marine activities such as snorkeling, diving, and glass-bottom boat rides. I personally had the chance to witness the breathtaking sunset on this island's beautiful beach. An incredibly relaxing experience. For anyone seeking solace from the daily grind, I highly recommend visiting this remote island to unwind and rejuvenate in the midst of natural tranquility. Number 3 is Kokusai Street. 
Kakusai Street stands as the primary street in Okinawa, a bustling 1.6 kilometers long shopping district that attracts tourists from both within Japan and abroad, lined with souvenir shops and Okinawan cuisine eateries. It offers a delightful experience for dining and shopping enthusiasts. I personally bought the famous Jinsuko cookies a quintessential Okinawan treat as a souvenir. Here, term the miracle one mile. This area swiftly recovered from the devastation of World War II, being among the first to be restored in Naha City. Moreover, there are numerous hotels along this street and its vicinity, coupled with the convenience of monorail stations nearby, making accommodation in this area quite convenient. During my recent visit, I stayed at two of hotels around this street too. Number 4 is Don Quixote. Don Quixote is a comprehensive discount store chain found across major cities in Japan, including Okinawa's bustling international street. It offers a wide range of products, from everyday items and food to alcoholic beverages, along with a variety of Okinawan and Japanese souvenirs. For those planning to purchase drinks or meals, it's often recommended to shop here as convenience stores might have higher prices. Additionally, if you're looking for souvenirs not limited to Okinawa, this store provides a diverse selection representing various regions of Japan. I believe this spot can significantly enhance your Okinawa trip by providing affordable options and an array of choices for a wonderful experience. Actually, during my visit, I bought breakfast items like bread and rice bowl here. Number 5 is Senbero Culture. Sinbero is a term in Japan that means getting drunk for 1,000 yen, $7, representing a significant part of the country's bar culture. In Okinawa, there are many Japanese pubs called izakayas, offering this service. During my visit in December 2023, I had the chance to enjoy three alcoholic drinks and one small dish for just 1,000 yen, $7. Of course, you can order additional foods and drinks. I personally tried some of Okinawa's specialty dishes. Making the most of the Senbero deal for an affordable and enjoyable night out. Number 6 is Okinawa Dishes. As I mentioned at the beginning, Okinawa boasts its unique culture, including an array of distinctive regional dishes not found on Japan's mainland. Let me introduce four of these delightful specialties. Firstly, we have Okinawa Soba. This noodle dish sees an immense consumption of 190,000 to 200,000 bowls per day in Okinawa. It features three-layered pork belly, scallions, and a unique soy sauce-based soup, offering a gentle flavor that becomes a go-to comfort meal, especially after a night of drinking. Secondly, Goya Champuru. This dish, termed Champuru, entails stir-frying island tofu and seasonal vegetables, combined with the summer vegetable Goya. Though originally a summer vegetable, advancements in cultivation allow its availability year-round. Its slight bitterness, combined with its health benefits, makes it a delicious choice regardless of the season. Next up is the steak. After World War II, Okinawa, under American governance, incorporated American food culture. Now, having a steak after a night of drinking has become a local tradition. This hearty steak dish is beloved by all ages establishing itself as a local Okinawan food. Lastly, taco rice. This dish was born from the influence of American food culture. It originated when a local restaurant combined the popular Mexican taco fillings with Japan's staple food, rice, to ensure American soldiers enjoyed a filling and delicious meal. Today, it's not only adored by the soldiers, but also embraced by Okinawans as a local favorite. These four dishes showcase the richness and diversity of Okinawa's culinary heritage. Each carrying a unique taste and history that adds to the allure of this enchanting region. Number 7 is Himeyuri Tower. The Himeyuri Tower stands as a memorial for the Himeyuri students who tragically lost their lives during the Battle of Okinawa in World War II. During this war, the U.S. military landed in Okinawa to establish a strategic base for the war in mainland Japan. The Battle of Okinawa, which resulted in many heartbreaking tales, is a pivotal part of this island's history, one that must be remembered and passed down for generations to come. Among these stories, the tragic fate of the Hainuri student corps, where numerous young lives were lost, remains etched in the hearts of many to this day. 
Adjacent to this monument stands the Haimuri Peace Museum, which chronicles the experiences of the Haimuri student corps during the Battle of Okinawa. Unfortunately, photography inside the museum is prohibited, but the exhibits narrate the harrowing experiences of survivors, offering for sand accounts of the war's grim reality. The museum also provides English explanations. If you visit Okinawa, I highly recommend stopping by this place to gain a deeper understanding of this significant historical chapter. Number 8 is Shuri Castle. Shuri Castle, constructed around the mid-14th century, stood as the pinnacle of political, diplomatic, and cultural activity in the Ryukyu Kingdom which was a separate entity from Japan during that era. The castle boasted a magnificent presence, showcasing a unique architectural blend, fusing Chinese and Japanese construction styles and stone masonry techniques. Its historical and cultural significance led to its recognition as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. However, in October 2019, a fire of unknown origin tragically caused the castle to burn down. Presently, Efforts are underway for its reconstruction scheduled to be completed by 2026. Visitors can witness the ongoing restoration process. Akin to the way Spain's iconic Sagrada Familia Church has its construction unveiled to the public. Therefore, when you visit, I recommend exploring the current state of Shuri Castle and taking in the process of its reconstruction. It's an opportunity to witness history being revived and experience the cultural significance of how was it things to do in Okinawa? Please share your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like button. See you in my next video. Bye.